UFC Fight Night Paris Moicano versus Saint Denis takes place this weekend, and I'm gonna go through the full card breakdown and then detailed predictions, starting with the early prelim opener of Balaji Oki versus Chris Duncan. Interesting matchup to start off the card. It is late though, and I need to post these predictions, so sorry. I'm gonna rush through these prelims a little bit until we hit the main card. I am going to pick up Balaji Oki. I like him more here. Don't think either of these guys will be anything. Like Balaji Oki, I mean, you know, Timmy Kwamba split decision. We found out Timmy Kwamba was never really that good. He just got destroyed and picked apart and hurt at moments by Lucas Almeida. And other than that, you know, he has good wins. Like, yeah, he beat some guys. He won a title at Atomic FC or Atomic Championship, it's called. Whatever, some sort of regional scene, and he won and then defended the title for Need to Deliver against jo- Josemar Vajaya. And since then, he's got decent wins, but in the UFC, just hasn't really de- uh, delivered the way he's supposed to. Um, and, you know, we look at freaking Chris Duncan, you know, who's been in the UFC a bit longer now. Got choked up by Manuel Torres. I don't mind Manuel Torres. I know he just got exposed, but... He's a good finisher and can look good here and there. You know, Ash Moose hurt his arm in the first... No, he... I think... He broke his arm in the first round of that fight. And he couldn't really do much in that fight to get out Ash Moose with one arm. And he still didn't even look great in the last two rounds. Won the fight, though. Omar Morales, split decision. Charlie Campbell... I'll, I, that's a fluke, honestly. Like, yeah, he beat Charlie Campbell in the Contender Series. Fluke. You can say I'm coping. Charlie Campbell rushed in. I bet you if they ran it back, Charlie Campbell knocks him out. Just like Borshev knocked out Duncan on the Contender Series before as well. So, I like Duncan. Um, he's not winning this, though. I'm taking Bellagio Oki. We move on up the card. Nora Cornell versus Jacqueline Cavalcanti. I hate her last name, Cornell. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with her, though. I'm going to go with her winning this, Nora Cornell. I don't know why I was silent there. She's going to win. Jacqueline Cavalcanti. Josia Nunez a decent win. Other than that, not too like. I haven't been impressed by either of them. Nora Canole impressed me though. Why am I staying silent? Nora Canole will win this fight. She looks. Oh, they both look hideous. Um. Calvicanta just hasn't made me wowed. You know. Nunez not really a good performance. Nunez kind of sucks. Farron isn't good. I always knew that, and um, yeah, I'm gonna pick uh, her. To, I'm gonna pick Nora Cornell. He yeah, has impressed me. Has game in the finishes. You know, we're supposed to fight Jermaine Ramini. Big fight, former champion. You know, Melissa Mullen. She KO'd, beat Jocelyn Edwards in Paris last time. So I think she'll like the crowd here. So I'm gonna pick her to win. Better on the ground, I think. More physical. Similar skill level. We move on. Up the car. Plus short notice for Cavalcanti. Daniel Perez versus Victor Altamirano. I'm going to go with Victor Altamirano pretty easily. Um, yeah, uh, Daniel Perez just hasn't impressed me. Um, Daniel Brez sucks, honestly. Like, these guys aren't the UFC level. Yeah, Victor Altamirano, I think he wins. What a boring fight to predict. Jesus, I hate Victor Altamirano fights. Like, tough Mexican, yeah, 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 but fuck, I'm done with them. All basically lost in the sphere. Um, other than fucking Ronaldo Rodriguez, which arguably was a robbery. Grosso lost. Everyone else lost in the card. Uh, he lost Felipe Dos Santos, arguably could have won. Tim Elliott beat him. Yeah, just... Who gives a fuck about this fight, honestly? He's good. He beat Vinicius Salvador. He's tough. You won't see this guy KO'd. He beat Daniel Lacerda. Not good fighters, though. But again, Daniel Perez fits in that fucking mix, so... 
He lost to Jafel Philho by first round arm triangle. Terrible. So I'm going to go Victor Altamano. Decision. Just mixes up better. Just more consistent than Daniel Perez, who's been inactive. We move on up the card. Aylin Perez versus Daria Zelensinkova. I'm going to pick D- Daria Zelensinkova. Um, losing. Losing. Losing this fight. Um, Aylin Perez will win. De- De- she's- I like Aylin Perez. First off, stuff about her. All right. Second off, she's a she's got weight in her legs, so I think she's a good grappler in general. Just meant to grapple, in my opinion, Aiden Perez. Um, we'll see people like her, like like her size and her like frame, like to strike, and it's just an awful idea. But um, Zelensky Kova's good on the feet. But I can just see her just getting ragdolled. Can't you? Aiden Perez is good, and I like how she's taking this serious now. Um, and getting these good wins over Jocelyn Edwards. You know, that's a good win. Over Lucy Podilova, easy win. Ashley Evan Smith, easy win. So I'm going to pick her to win this one. There he is, Alenci Kova. Sorry to say it. She's just not... She's good on the feet. Her ground game is not there. Losing to Melissa Mullins. Like, I don't like that. So I'm going to go Aiden Perez. Decision win, probably. We move on at the card. Taylor Lapalus versus Vince Morales. I'm going to go Taylor Lapalus. Um, Vince Morales has been looking good, though. I will say this. Vince Morales has been looking good. Beat Hunter Azure. Good win. Beat Luis uh, Guerrero. Yuki Montoya. Joe Penafil. Teruto Ishihara he beat as well. Beating very fucking good guys. But then he loses in the UFC. We'll look at his past UFC run he had. Miles Johns, unanimous decision, loss. Jonathan Martinez beat him as well, picked him apart easily. This is what I'm looking at. You know, this is exactly what I'm looking at. Chris Gutierrez beats him. You know, I don't like that. Benito, Benito Lopez beats him. Tongi Dong beats him, that's not a bad one. But still, these other ones. We are looking back at 2019, though, which has been a while. But still, I'm going to pick him to beat... The likes of... I'm going to pick Taylor Lapis to be the likes of Vince Morales, who's stepping up on short notice, who just hasn't really had the full preparation here. I know Taylor Lapis was supposed to fight someone else. I know who it was. It was supposed to be... I just had the name. It's such a forget... Felipe Lima, that's his name. Such a forgettable name. Felipe Lima. Like I feel like that's the name of Charles Oliveira. It's one of his coaches, I feel like. And he's such a Brazilian name. He is Brazilian, to be fair, but he looks like he's a Ukrainian. Felipe Lima, who committed Naimov, by the way. That's the guy, if you're wondering who it, what, who it is. But, um, Taylor Lapolis, he's good. Lonely lost to Farid Basharat. I don't mind that. Other than that, I think he's going to get the job done here. Minus 350 for a reason. He's coming off a good win over Cody Stamen. Beat Callum Lochran. These guys aren't great, but still... Especially Lochran. Lochran's a bit of a fraud. But um, I'm going to pick him to win over Vince Morales. He's been looking good. Might give a good scrap. We'll lose the decision. We move on. Up the card. Ludovic Klein versus Roosevelt Roberts. Now, I'm definitely going to be picking Ludovic Klein. But anyway, he fucking wants. I mean, Roosevelt Roberts. I know they like him. Which is, so they must. Because how the fuck are you keeping this guy around? He lost tough and now he's in the UFC. Got smoked by Rebecca, who I think is the worst version of Klein. Get smoked by everyone. You know, he's, this guy's not good. I don't know how he's still 12-4 and four with a decent record. Austin Hubbard beat him on tough. Ignacio Bahamandes beat him. Kevin Kroon beat this guy as well mm-hmm. um, before it got overturned. Um, J- Jim Miller beat him. Like, this guy's shit. On the ground, on the feet. Ludovic Klein getting good wins. Like, he's been smoking guys like Moises. Smoking guys like Bahamandes. AJ Cunningham, easily win. Easy win. Close fight with Jai Herbert. Beat Basin Jones. Like, this guy's gonna smoke Roosevelt Roberts in any fucking way he wants. If Roberts wins, I'm picking next underdog's next car. I don't care. Might even pick Roundtree. If fucking if. I swear to God, if Roberts beats Klein, I might fucking pick Roundtree at this point. We move on. Up the card. 
Um, Umar Sai. Or Omar Sai. Umar Sai, though. Versus Dawoon Young. I'm going to go with him winning this one over Dawoon Young. I like Omar Sai. Omar Sai. Umar Omar Sai. Whatever you want to call it. Omar Sai, though, because O first. Omar Sai. Beat Tuko Tacos last fight. Um, easy win. I know it was a short notice step in, but it was just an easy win. It was just an easy ass win against Tuko Tacos. Now he's fighting Dawoon Young. Dawoon Young, who's on a losing streak. You know, um, he beat, well, yeah, he beat Louis, Liam Knight. Kennedy is a chook. These guys aren't great. Carl Sober beats him. Devin Clark beats him. Jacoby beats him. Omar Sy is good on the ground. <laughs> if Carl Sober can sub you for Rina Kachok, Omar Sy can definitely. This guy's a prospect from France. Real pos- prospect from France. Looking good, submitting these guys, and I think he'll go out there and do the exact same thing to Dot and Young. Minus 550, yeah. Or 500, yeah. This guy's a prospect for a reason. I do believe he wins. 5% people picking Young. Yeah, I'm going to pick him to win. We move on. Up the card. Eon Kutalaba versus Ivan Urslan. Ivan Urslan's so weirdly shit on the feet a bit, but it works. This guy's like a a, like a Drickus Duplass in a in a way. And I think he wins. I'm fucking done picking Kutalaba, man. I'm done picking Kutalaba. I just don't think he's good anywhere. I'm sorry. Tanner Bowes is shit. Alright, how are you losing to this guy? Kennedy is a trick who beats him. Felipe Lin scolds him. Walker beats him. Spam beats him. And, it's, and even that Felipe Lin fight. It's not like he pushed anything. That was a close fight, and he could have pushed, but he fucking didn't. And that's really suspicious to me. So, I'm going to pick him to, um... Like, not suspicious, but, like... Come on. You know? Push more if you want it. Other than that, Jacoby fight got 10 aided. Clark shit. Yeah, I'm going to take Ivan Erslan, the new guy coming in. 14 threes, taking losses in this pass. Kutalab is just awful. I'm sorry. He's just not good. He's shit. Everywhere, arguably. We move on up the card. For SAM versus Matt Pravola. Oh, shit. I nearly knocked out my fucking phone there. I'm going to go with um, Matt Pravola actually getting this one done. I think he beats for SCM. I've not been a fan of Fresh I like Fresh CM. I think he's good at fighting. Like a secretly really good fighter. Split decision of Claudio Puelas. Come on. You know, that's fucking pathetic. And you know, then we look at the fight against Dry Herbert. Look, what the fuck are you doing in that fight, man? Actually, no, you look good against Herbert. Yeah, you look good against Herbert. I'm looking at the wrong fight. You know, Puelas fight... Red flag. Split decision with Puella is terrible. Dan Hooker finished him. Herbert fight was good performance. He outranged Herbert in that area. Figlack fight was good. Took it on short notice, so Figlack did. Terrence McKinney subbed you. Like, what the fuck is that? Terrence McKinney took him down and subbed him. I like Mafavola's grappling. I don't know if anyone else agrees, but Mafavola took down Benoit St. Denis. Did some work. I'll get to the main event in a second. He took down Benoit St. Denis in that fight. You know, and then he KOs Dober, Zaitar Valdez, all back to back. Um, loses to McKinney himself. Um, man, I'm really thirsty today. But, you know, it happens. You get caught. I don't think Fresh Yam has any power in his hands here. I think Matt Vola has the power advantage by a mile. Armin out grapples him. It happens. It happens. I'm not going to ma- blame him for losing to Armin fucking Sarukian, the number one contender. I'll grapple Jalen Turner. That was a fight we out grapple Jalen Turner. And Matt Fola, it's mainly his chin. Unless you're Armin Sarukian level grappling, you're, you're getting knocked out. You're going to get knocked. Favola is going to get knocked out. And Ziam has no fucking power. You know? He's not really a prospect either. Like, Dan Hooker finishes Puelas. Split decision win there. Um, 
Iliad Peary puts out Hyber, uh, Herbert. He took him to his decision. Um, Luigi, Medermini, Luigi Vendramini. Majority decision. Um, Patty Pimlet puts him out. Jamie Malarkey, decision win. Controversial as well in that fight. Who put him out? Uh, Maurizio Ruffi put him out. There's just a skill difference. There's just a difference in my opinion. I'm taking Frivola. KO. Siam looks chinny. He's tall. He's meant to be KO'd. Not much of reach disadvantage here. Only like a four inch gap. I don't mind that. So I think Ravolo will get on the inside. Tag him eventually and put him out. And I'll grapple him at moments if he needs to. We move on. Up the card. Kevin Jusay. Versus. No, is that it? No, it's Morgan Cherrier. Morgan Cherrier versus Gabriel Miranda. I'm going to go with Morgan Cherrier. I like Morgan Cherrier. I think he's actually really good. You know, he was supposed to be fish, uh, facing against AJ Cunningham. That would have been an easy layup for him. So they gave him a slightly difficult, more difficult guy. I don't even think so. I mean, Gabriel Miranda's not good, but I like Morgan Cherrier. He gets to, he pushes it. I like him. He pushes the fight. Like, he beats Manolo Zucchini. Where the fuck that is. That was a layup for him, let's be honest. But then he beats Diego Silva at Cage Warriors. Pedro Souza by Dr. Stoppage at Cage Warriors. Daniel Bazant by Split Decision, whatever. Paul Hughes, a good prospect from Cage Warriors. Um, he went to PFL, though, so fuck him. Um, Jordan Vucenic's good. We saw him have a good showing against uh, Garam Kudadaledzi on short notice. And it was close to beating him, not going to lie. And, um, yeah, I'm going to pick him to win this. I'm going to pick Mo uh, Morgan Cherrier to win this fight. They're looking good. Shepi Mariscal, split decision loss. Arguably could have won. Shepi's looking great. And Gabriel Miranda has done shit all. Shane Young shit. I don't rate Shane Young at all. Um, and then Benoit saint he put him out. This guy's just open on the feet. Not good anywhere. And yeah, good grappling. I doubt he'll outgrapple Sherry Air. We move on. Up the card. What the fuck's happening? Kevin Jusay versus Brian Battle. I'm going to go for Brian Battle. Difference being, Battle will shoot takedowns here, which I like. Battle can, like, battle can grapple. Um, we saw that against AJ Fletcher. We saw that against... Gore at moments, and against Urbina as well. Urbina, he beat him as well. And against Gore. His stand-up's good though, man. Right hook against Gabriel. Takashi Sato head kick. Out cold, both of them. Don't mind a loss to Renat. Renat, he took on short notice. And it's a, minor, not a stylistic nightmare matchup. And, uh, you know. You know. Uh, I'm going to uh, have an exception for that. And then, um... You know, um, he did get dominated though, but still, it's not like Kevin Jusse has much of a grappling game. I just, and he was scoring on Lucid as well on the feet, but or uh, the eye poke happened. Kevin Jusse just hasn't wowed me. You know, Kiefer Crosby's not good. I'm just gonna be completely honest. Um, and he, you know, he didn't look great in that fight. Well, I was getting a finish, you know, in the Canons, uh, so on Canon fight. What are you doing? Like, stop letting this be competitive against Song Kanan. Like, I'm sorry. I know Kanan can be tricky for some guys, especially the guys like Ian Gary. But still, skull him. Finish him. Because I know for fat, Brian Battle would finish Song Kanan. So, I like Brian Battle here. I think he's underrated. And I think he'll get the job done by decision, I'll say. 29-28. Close fight. Some people say robbery. Battle gets it done. We move on up the card. Um, William Gomez versus Joanna Sombrito. Okay. Joanna Sombrito is going to fucking kill William Gomez in the first round. We move on. Up the card. Really, realistically, though. Johnson's a prospect outside the rankings. Getting overlooked. William Gomez just hasn't impressed me. And um, hasn't impressed anyone with his performances. He's just kind of like a pick-you-apart type guy. That ain't going to work against like a 
a bruiser style, a beat, like a, an IQ to Michael Chandler. Burrito's to destroy him. Burrito's good. I need, I, I doubted him against Jack Shore. I picked Jack Shore to win. I'm picking him this time, though, against Gomez, who had a shit weight cut against Gene Silva, by the way, who would have smoked him as well, so... I'm going to go Gene Silva. No, I'm not going to go Gene Silva. I'm going to go for this re- this guy right here. Drew Anderson Brito. We move on. Up the card. Nasruddin Amatvov versus Brendan Allen. I'm going to go with Nasruddin Amatvov. I like Nasruddin here. Uh, Brendan Allen. I just... I You can look at their past fights all you want. I'm going to look at their Chris Curtis fights. Allen Curtis. Why are you making it close with Curtis? Realistically, and Avov was taking down Curtis, looking good within there. Thing of Allen is, first off, I don't see him getting any takedowns on Amavov. Amavov has got good takedown defense. On the feet, though, Allen, I don't think, is good on the feet either. I don't even think he's that good anywhere, really, but he just gets it. Like, this guy is kind of like the American Drickus people I see. Um, but the thing is with Allen, and it does work, but this is where it's ending. He likes to beat people at their own game. Chris Curtis on the feet. Taking down Paul Craig and subbing them. You ain't gonna outstrike Nashity and Mavov, little bro. You ain't gonna do that. It's like fucking Jail to Almeida out, trying to outstrike Sertal Gone. It's not gonna happen. So, I think Mavov stuffs the takedowns. He's bigger than Allen regardless. I think he'll, out, I think he'll school Allen in Paris. Last time he had that was against Joaquin Buckley. Scold walking Buckley like nothing. Um, had a bad third round. The cardio is going to be an issue here. And I think in a five-rounder, Allen could have t- taken over. Three-rounders, just, I think it's light work for Nasruddin. Been looking good. Beat Jared Cannonier. Had a good win. Um, I think he's going to be back here with flying colors. Who did he beat before Cannonier? I'm curious on that. Oh, he beat Roman Delizzi. Yeah, easy win. Um, I think he's good, though. Schools these guys, does what he needs to do, what he de- needs to do. And Allen's going to try to beat him in his own game and get picked apart and scold and have a hissy fit at the end. We move on up the card. Hanato Moicano versus Benoit Saint-Denis. I'm taking Hanato Money Moicano. Money Moicano will win this fight. Um, Benoit Saint-Denis is good. I just don't... I just think Moicano can just get him in a few areas. And Benoit is good. I don't see him out grappling Moicano. So I think Benoit's chance in this fight is to catch Moicano. And I don't think he's got good enough stand-up. Moises is a nerd. Alright, he's a nerd. He's not that good. You know, and he beat him. Good win. He beat Moises. If you're good enough, you can. He has Poirier, though. I know he had staph infection, but let's not make this an excuse. Makashev had staph infection against Poirier. He looked fine and got a fifth-round submission win. You know? Wh- who else had it? Marab against O'Malley. Should have lost on damage. Is an argument. But, um... You know? He had staph. He looked fine. I'm gonna pick... He looked again like that Poirier fight Benoit. Not not even the cardio. The cardio is something here. First five rounder in Paris, France. Moicano wants this moment. Has won. Has been wanting this moment. Has been in these moments. He headlined a fight night against Korean Zombie with Korean Zombie. You know he's been in these moments before. Benoit hasn't. You know, he hasn't been in these big moments before, other than against Poirier, and look how that went. Sloppy striking defense. Poirier eventually put him away. I'm going to go with Moicano, man. He's got good stand-up. I think better stand-up technique-wise than Benoit. Maybe a worse chin, but I think Moicano has the striking defense to make up for that. I know we didn't see that against Jalen Turner, but he came back. Out of all the grapplers that fought Turner, Moicano did the best. Breaking Turner and beating him and TKOing him or subbing him. I forgot what he got. What did he get again? Got ground a pound finish. Yeah, yeah, So, 
he beat him. I know Tyler dropped him, but that's his fault. He should have dropped him again and finished him if he was that good. He couldn't. Moicano finished him. He looked good on the feet against Dober here and there. I like him here. But Wall's good. I just think it's too soon. Like, I don't know if Benoit would beat Drew Dober. Probably without grappling him, yeah. But, like, would Benoit beat Jalen Turner? I don't know. These are questions I don't know. I know I doubted Moicano twice against him. But I'm not doubting him here. More Moicano. I like him here. I think he can expose the grappling of Benoit when Benoit gives up, gives up his back. So I like Moicano here. I'm going to pick him to win this fight by Rene Kachok. In round three. Like, subscribe, thank you for watching. Peace.